All right. New run. Yeah. I hear I get to talk during this one. I mean, probably. Who are we dating? Mm hmm. Do. We... So okay. So first order of business is who the hell are we dating? Yes. Um, I personally would vote for Anna because we haven't dated her yet, and Kayla is itching for some speaking parts. Even if it's Anna. <laughs> Even if it's Anna. <laughs> Even if it's Anna. I'm also, missing a beverage. This is a travesty. Eric. Also, if um, my my sources, which is to say uh, internet browsing, are correct. Yeah. Once you finish a route with a person, they don't die during the route anymore. So, presumably that means Bryce is safe in all future runs, and if we date Anna and finish her, then she will also be safe in all future runs. Unless, of course, that's totally not how it works, and I've been lied to by the internet. Uh, so, like... Okay, do we well, know what the linchpin... Oh, we need, to know, we need to know how to answer that question about the book, right? Yes, we need to know how to answer the question about the book, which means that we're going to need to not skip the initial thing and go, like, explore our house. Because there's a bookshelf, and I'm sure that's where the answer is. We don't like background noise, but Tim's background noise is great. So Tim's background on. noise is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Look, you lie root beer, and like the actual root beer instead of the lies root beer is like all the way in the back of the fridge. <laughs> Behind the Pepsi. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shh. Very nice. Very important sound effect. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, the, the, the Foley me. artist in me is pleased. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's start Anna, this bitch. Ba, ba, ba. We're gonna date Anna. Anna, whatever. Continue your journey, Zani. Sure, why not? That sounds like a fine for me. All right, your name's Zani. Yes. Hi, Zani. Yes, Duty. Duty. I spy with my eyes. Something really blurry because I have a magnifying glass right in front of my fucking eyeball. So. All right. Uh, welcome from familiar dreams, etc., etc., etc. Hey, hey, look, it's, it's Dragonland. Morning, portal, hilltop, window. Yay! Uh, yeah. So we're not going to skip ahead this time. Because we want to explore. Hi, Sebastian. You're so blushing. cute. Uh, we're going to kiss his hand again because that was funny. <laughs> uh, he's just like you. I ought to. Sure, why not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I was asking about the blood. The image. Yes. Great. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> Investigation. They were inflicted with a sharp implement. Uh, it had only been someone with hands. Uh, he didn't want to make any noise. The one on his neck. Uh, he died here. Uh, he fought back. He Great. had gum so disease. Vampire. I have a name you know. Actually, you don't. You never told me. Oh, I can't skip this because we haven't slept this option before. <laughs> Hold on. We'll go back. <laughs> okay. okay, I have a name you know. Uh, did you want to restart this entire scene? No! <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't. You never told me it. It's Zani. What are you even doing here? Do you work for our police now? Uh, I mean, I, I no, looks like it. No, it's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, maybe I should be calling you officer then. I don't think I'm quite there yet. By the way, I didn't know you also did deliveries. Uh, I do a little bit of everything, really. That's nice. I liked my uh, fish yesterday. Oh, right, <laughs> you ate the shitty fish. I mean, I guess that's the option that it picks for me if I, uh... Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to hide it. I know it's quite an acquired taste. Yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't have recommended it to someone new like you, but you could always try something different. Here's our number if you don't want to come in, and we'll deliver anything we have to you. Thanks. Girl number. Thank you, Sebastian. All right, off we go. Uh, let's hope we find Razor before he does. All right. And uh, unless, uh, yeah. She told me to meet her here, so she's got to be around somewhere. The production facility had many different wings, covering everything from research to processing. 
in addition to production. It was easy to get lost if you didn't know where you were going. Get it? Wings. Are they scaly? Uh, Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. Roll credits. I heard some commotion in the distance, and when I approached, I was surprised to see not only Anna, but Remy as well. They seemed to be in the middle of a heated conversation. I thought it would be inappropriate to approach now, so I bring several places back, out of their field of vision, but still close enough to be able to make out their words. I forgot I was in this scene. Right? We have heard the rumors. So you come to me on the basis of rumors? Is that how you operate? What do you want from me? This is not the first time you've been in trouble, you know. They might not be so lenient with you this time. I don't know what you're talking about. Consider this a warning. You should proceed carefully for your own good. If you wanted to threaten me, the least you could have done was to send someone more intimidating. You may be larger than I am, but even I can see that you're just a big coward. You wouldn't dare to put your dirty claws on me. I wouldn't. I'm here as a courtesy to you, not to threaten or intimidate. Do with that information whatever you wish. You know we'll be back, and if they find anything, there will be consequences. Do you think I care? This attitude of yours is not helpful. Neither are you. Well, I've said what I came here to say. Good luck. Whatever. Remy turned to leave and started walking in my direction. I ducked behind a pillar, and when he went past, I wasn't sure if he'd seen me. Either way, he left, and I was safe to approach now. Uh, yes. Yeah, let's skip ahead. Just look at that. I won. Someone had to. This turned out to be more fun than I expected. Of course, the main reason for that is because I won, but still. I get it. You won. You're great, etc. <laughs> that is true. So, when should I come in for the tests? Mm, actually, I'm not sure if I'll get a spot for them in the facility anytime soon, but I'll be sure to let you know. I'm quite sure you will. But you know what? This wasn't so bad after all. Maybe I'll let you have your date. Really? Sure. I mean, you didn't win. But I think you earned it nonetheless. But maybe I'm just that nice. Okay. Well, it's up to you. Call me if you're interested. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm still going to collect my prize, though. I'm sure you'll make sure of that. You bet I will. In any case, I should get going now. My break is just about to end. Bye! I'm not sure what I expected out of this encounter, but it certainly wasn't this. After all, proposing a proper date was my way of sticking it to her for being rude. Even though I lost the bet, she didn't seem to mind going on a date with me, as long as she got what she wanted. Whether I would follow up on it was up to me, though. Alright. Um, we've seen all these scenes. We met with Remy once, we met with Lauren once, we met with Bryce, obviously, we met with the Dean, obviously, and we did the Sebastian scene. You just want to skip it? Yeah. Alright, great. In the end, I decided to spend the day relaxing in my apartment. I didn't know when things would start to pick up again, so I figured it would be better to get some rest as long as I still could. Dun 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 hope. Dun dun dun. Just hope, that's it. Mm. That was that was that was that was, that was a quick burn of chapter one. Yeah, yeah it really was. <laughs> Speed run. Uh, well, we're Been just seen that. Been there, seen that. Skipping a ahead to the shit we don't we haven't done yet. Marnie. Just so you haven't seen. Yes, skip ahead. Whoop. Zoom. Yay! Yeah. We got an achievement. For a skip what is it? Fast forward. Fast forward. You got an achievement fast for skipping forward. way a lot of times. It was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached into my pocket to take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get there? 
yeah, the, the administrator. Mm-hmm. My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. <laughs> Same. As for Tatsu, the only related thing I could thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I had come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was the place the mysterious pair referred to, I didn't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light fixture, but if it was Reza, it would mean following someone who was also the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Reza had been to, a local grocery store, the production facility we had visited, and the library were the three places closest to here. It certainly was going to be a busy day, and I knew I wouldn't have the time to visit all of them. Alright, let's go to Tatsu Park back then, I think. Just to do the, the, the thing and find the bloody cloth. Tatsu Park, here I am. I don't know what I'm even looking for, though. I, I do. In the past, um... We haven't seen it. Has the paper been in like the pocket before? Or is yes. It? Yeah, it's in the pocket every time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, look at the map. I go north towards Tatsu Avenue, which apparently is a nice spot to look at the landscape, or south to the political district. Where should I go? Uh, I think it was north. It was north. Yeah. Yeah. Probably here. All right. All right. Open the hatch. Two buttons. All right. Push the first button. Push the second button. Turn a little counterclockwise. Great. I look down to see the maintenance tunnels for the underground drain system. A pale object starkly contrasted against the pitch black backdrop. It's a cloth with suspicious red markings all over it. I guess that's all to be found down here. Kathunk. Alright, go back. And stop searching the park. We're done here. Um, let's see. The grocery store didn't have anything of relevance. If I recall correctly, the production facility was super useless. The library, did the library have something in it? Um, um, the only time we visited the library before was like, there was that box and the mini game and shit. I don't remember. That was the yeah. first meeting with Remy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah that was the yeah. first. I'm the not first sure if we've gone to the library uh, from here. All right, let's try it. Books. All Sorry, right, books. Reza, what did you want here? Hey, it's Remy. What a surprise. He only works here. I already told you, it's not here. Who's he talking to? A dean? Won't you help out an old friend? Oh, oh right. I'm just saying. <laughs> friend? This is the first time you've spoken to me in years. Whose fault is that? For you, I didn't even exist these last few years. At least I tried to reach out to you. No, you're just here because you want something. I'm right here, right now, and you still continue to act like that. She was my friend too, you know. I think you should leave. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. For everything. It's a little late for apologies. Have it your way, then. Adine stormed out so quickly that she didn't even notice me. I waited a few moments and wondered if it was a good time to talk to Remy. In the end, I decided that my task was too pressing to come back at another time. I shoveled through books and tried to look busy until I noticed he resumed his work so I could approach him. Hello, Zani. How can I help you? By skipping! Uh, How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, That's all. Just wanted to say hi. (laughs) Reza, he's visited quite often since he arrived, actually. Until a few days ago, that is. Do you know what he was reading? Not particularly. 
I thought he'd just want to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him while he was here? Can't say I did, though he did ask me for a map once. A map? Yes. I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. Did he talk to you about anything strange while he was here? Besides the maps, nothing else worth mentioning comes to mind. Only the usual pro pleasantries. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> If we prevent the comet from hitting the planet, does that mean that there will be dinosaur dragon things in the future and no humans? I don't it'll, know. It'll be an alternate timeline, I don't know. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department, and I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. Looks like you've seen this. Yeah, sure. So we sent the, the thing, we did the thing, we got the stuff. Wait, didn't you say you skip ahead? I did. We skipped ahead yeah. to this. Anyway, you said he had some information for us, so what'd you find? The bandage you found is something, alright. Of course, it could be anybody's, but why would someone discard theirs in a place like that? It seems suspicious to me, and it's certainly worth checking out. I'll make sure it gets to the right place. The map in the library, I don't know what to think about that. He could have made a map to plan something, I suppose, but who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's kind of detailed that's on its own. Might not tell us much. Could be crucial later on. Turns out it's because he's trying to figure out where and when he is. <laughs> well done, Zani. That gives us some solid points from which we can continue our investigation. In any case, thanks for your help. We really do appreciate it. You're welcome. That should be all, then. Since Bryce still hasn't come back, I assume the search is still going on, and I better get out there and help him. Guess it's gonna be a long day. Can you find your way back to your apartment? Nope, I'm totally lost. Yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck. Hey, by the way, did you want to play cards? <laughs> <laughs> we skipped that right scene. Now. <laughs> uh, all right, be with Anna again for our date. And this time we're not gonna skip it because last time we totally fucked it up. Uh, let me just check. Alright, so Anna is on good status, and we're trying to keep her that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe push her to the next good one, which I don't even remember what it is. Impressed. I don't think you yeah. can do that until, like, the fourth scene, though. Yeah, she's not going to be impressed so soon. Just on time. Now, where is she? Hello? What's this? Looks like a message. Something came up at the last second. Wait for me. It shouldn't be too long. Anna. I guess at the last second is meant in a little sense here, or else she could have just called me. Guess we're playing the waiting game then. Okay, it's been like an hour and my patience is slowly but surely running out. Just go home. <laughs> Just screw it. We're done here. Just done. No, wait. Oh, I waited this long, so I guess I can wait a little longer. Till nightfall. Yeah, it's dark. I'm not sure who the world record holder for most patient person is, but now I feel like a contender. Still no sign of her though. We'll just wait. Well, if she doesn't show up soon, I'm done. There you are. Where have you been all this time? Reading comprehension must not be your strong suit, because my note clearly said I'd be back soon. Note to self. The word soon now refers to a time span of over two hours when waiting for a scheduled appointment. Has it really been that long? It certainly didn't feel like it. Alright, sorry for making you wait. Alright, shall we try to be nicer to her be so she doesn't... Be the nicest. Yeah. Be the nicest. It happens to me all the time. I guess we missed our movie. Can't we see the late screening or something? That was the late screening. The theater's closed now. Maybe we should reschedule. That won't work. At least not for me. Today was the only day I could leave early. I won't have another chance anytime soon. So, what do we do now? Maybe the coffee place is still open. I don't know. I guess that's better than nothing. Closed as well. That's just peachy. Why do you keep working so late anyway? 
Because what I'm doing is important. I understand wanting to see things through to completion. How long have you been working on your current project? Not long enough to finish it. That's not good. You're gonna burn yourself out. So what? Is your work really worth jeopardizing your health over? You're not going to help anyone if you're dead. Dun Foreshadowing! Da <laughs> <laughs> da da! If I don't finish this, no one else will. No one else can. Besides, I was only late today because I got your stupid blood work ready. Oh! Maybe the way to have this scene go well is to not give her the blood. Maybe. Hmm. We'll find out. I mean, at this point, like, if she dies anyway after two seasons, we'll we could just, like, reset. Yeah, let's <laughs> find out, let's find out. Or we could redirect to someone else like we did the first time through. We didn't do a, 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 a second scene the first one. We wouldn't be able to redirect anyone else. No, I think we could probably uh, still get to something going with someone. Yeah, but I don't think we'd be able to... We wouldn't be able to get their final scene. Hmm. Which is, like, half the point. Uh... You have the test results? Yeah. Want to know what I have to say about them? Definitely. Okay. How much do you know about genetics? A little bit, I guess. Don't worry. I'll put it in words that are easy for you to understand. To start off, I found that on average, about 90% of your genes are homologous to our species' genes. This may seem like a lot, but to put it into perspective, about 50% of your DNA is also shared with fruit. To further elaborate, you and your human neighbor back home are probably around 99.9% .9 genetically similar. If you compared the various sentient species we have here to each other, it would only be around 95 to 97% similar. As for what exactly all of this tells us, although a match of 90% sounds like a lot, it's not as much as you might think. Still, for two beings from a different world altogether, that's quite remarkable. Beyond DNA, the biggest similarity between us is within the brain structure. But that's not surprising, considering our high-level cognitive abilities. That'll surprise Maverick. Hmm, what do you mean? He doesn't seem to like humans very much. I'm sure he'll be displeased to know how similar we are. Oh, he doesn't like anyone, really. He's just like me in that way. Yeah, you two would make a great couple. Mm, you're a little late for that. I'm already his ex-girlfriend. Really? How did that go? Eh, not how you might think. It actually went pretty well. For a while, at least. But in the end, we both got too absorbed in our jobs until we realized we had drifted apart too much and agreed it would be better if we just broke up. I still respect him for the work he does. I mean, we even used to solve crime together. I'd be in the lab, running tests, and he'd be out in the field, chasing after the perps. Those were good times. I guess nowadays he just chases after me. You're up to something. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. But if you know him, maybe you can help me out. I certainly can't help you if you don't tell me what's going on. Okay, but this is just between us, all right? Sure, sure, whatever. Maverick is convinced that I'm the accomplice of a crime. He made a point to tell me that he's searching for proof to legally arrest me, or worse. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Really? It's nothing. You can't find any proof that doesn't exist. Still, it doesn't feel nice to be threatened and stalked, especially by someone like him. It's just... Him. He gets way too into it once he sets his sights on something. I noticed. It's his job. What do you expect? I wish he'd just leave me alone. He wasn't always like this, you know. A couple of years ago, he was assigned to this one case. He was still relatively new on the force, young and eager to help. Then reality came crashing down on him. There was a serial killer who shook up the whole town. The victims were apparently eaten. We later found out that the killer's actions were the result of a degenerative disease, which brought his feral nature to the foreground. At that point, he was just a wild animal, turned into a cannibal that hunted under the shadow of night. Everyone in town was up in arms, terrified that they'd be next. 
Police did everything they could. A curfew was instated, and patrols guarded the streets at night. And then they found him munching on his fifth victim. Poor little Maverick was not prepared for what he would find. Stand back, Maverick. I'll handle this. Miles? It was his brother. Step away from the body, Miles. Miles couldn't comprehend their words and only saw rivals who wanted to take away his prey. He wasn't about to just let go of it without a fight. (laughs) (laughs) Miles raised his head from his kill, blood dripping from his maw. The officer's breasts were smothered by the deadly stillness of the night. Fangs bared, the feral dragon snarled and stood strong in front of his meal, prepared to protect it from the two who intruded upon his territory. Whatever this is, Miles, it's over. Don't make it worse now. Brains! In an instant, Miles was upon Bryce. They clashed in a flurry of teeth and claws. Miles had the advantage with his small frame and quick movements, and Bryce could not get a clear hit in. It all happened so fast that Maverick didn't know what to do. They rolled on the ground, and Bryce ended up on his back, as helpless as a turtle. Miles pinned him and clamped his jaws on his neck. Bryce's claws were the only thing preventing Miles from biting down, and they were slipping, slick with blood and quivering with fatigue, as he tried to push him off. For a brief moment, Bryce thought he'd met his end, when the jaws suddenly relaxed and he was able to dislodge them. When he looked up, he saw that Maverick had managed to get to Miles from behind. He bit through his brother's neck from above. Blood flowed down Maverick's jaws and over Miles' lifeless body. Bryce had been saved, but the young dragon wore a wide-eyed, empty stare. Maverick blamed himself for not taking better care of his brother. He knew Miles had problems and was taking medication for it, but he wished he could have done more to help him. The medication wasn't the right one, by the way. Maverick takes solace in the fact that he was able to save Bryce, but he's never been the same since that incident. Now, he scrutinizes everyone and everything. I'm not sure how it's supposed to help me. It doesn't, but now you know why he is how he is. It's not unusual for him to act like this, so you might just have to wait it out. Anyway, let's get back to your test results. Since you were so interested, did you want a copy of them? Yeah, I'd appreciate that. No problem. I heard you also wanted Raze's blood. Mm, Of course. I invited him over too, but that was before you arrived here. And I thought what we had was special. (laughs) <laughs> oh, it is. Razor was too stuck up to agree to anything. He wouldn't even participate in an exhilarating round of trivia board games? <laughs> Not even that. Can you believe it? I can almost see the sarcasm dripping from your mouth. Still, it's kind of a shame. It would have been interesting to compare your blood to his. What a shame indeed. Let's just enjoy our romantic date in the back alley of a coffee shop. <laughs> of course. Unless you want to take this someplace else. Hmm. What? You don't like hanging around dirty back alleys? Uh. Should we consult the internet? (laughs) She's so fucking. She's such a soon dare. It's so hard, right? (laughs) Look, go with what's in your heart. Uh, What does your heart tell you? You can either choose to sass her or say someplace inside. Uh. Alright, let's sass her. Now that's the spirit. I'm getting kind of hungry. I figured we'd be having a meal on our date. What? Can't you go a few hours without having to stuff your face? I could offer you a handful of dirt if that's to your taste, Sonny. I already have my, my own, own dirt. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I already have my own dirt. <laughs> oh really? What kind of dirt would that be? Only the finest governmentally governmentally funded dirt from Tatsu Park. Your filthy back alley stuff has nothing on this. (laughs) You win this round. Either way, a side dish would be nice. Hmm. I know this one place that never closes. Let's go there. Sure. 
Let's go steal Let's go a farm steal machine. from a farm. Let's go stealing. After several minutes of walking, Anna led me to the outskirts of town. We arrived at a farmhouse. On one side, fields stretched towards the horizon. On the other were lush green hills with fenced populations of animals. What kind of restaurant is this supposed to be? Self-serve. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Huh? How well can you hunt? Me? Even if I knew how, it's not like I have any equipment here. Mm-hmm. Equipment? What a sissy. Look, we don't all have claws and big teeth. Right? You've got hands and teeth? What more do you need? A long-range weapon, maybe? Like fire? I suppose even you could make use of that. Alright, since I'm apparently the only one capable of acquiring food, I'll be right back. Anna walked over to a fenced enclosure of animals that reminded me of sheep. She crouched and squeezed herself to the bars, after which I lost sight of her. Waiting game 2.0, start. It only took a couple of minutes for her to return, dragging one of the animals behind her with now bloody jaws and hands. Mm, Dinner's sexy. ready. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no one wants to hear about your boar. <laughs> what kind of animal is this? It's called a mouflon. Anyway, do you have a part you'd prefer? See how nice I am? I'm even letting you choose first. Uh, I don't know. Take the rump. No problem. Using one of her claws, she skinned the dead mouflon and divided it into various pieces. Do you want yours grilled or raw? Ooh. Grilled. Unless prepared properly, raw meat carries a significant risk of diseases for us. Huh. How inept can your species even be? You can't hunt on your own and you tools and help at every step. You don't even have claws to cut things up. I'm not sure how you could ever survive in the wild. Seriously, what god did you piss off to end up like that? Um, I go with evolution. Yeah. I guess after millions of years of evolution, nature decided that we didn't need those abilities anymore. Instead, we got very articulate hands and arms and our upright stance. Those let us do many other things. Like what? Who builds everything in your society? Who's responsible for the delicate tasks like assembling electronics, manufacturing, or cooking and bartending? Hmm. That's mostly us, the runners. We've got proper hands after all. Now compare your arms to mine. Ours are much longer and have way more mobility. Especially our fingers. They have an incredible amount of articulation. The difference between you and me is about as big as the difference between you and another of your species. Just imagine what we could do with our advantages. Oh, you think you can school me? Sure I can. Don't get cocky. We've overcome the limitations of individual species with all of our technology. Actually, we have technology back home that is far superior to yours. Oh, I'd love to see it. Though, we've already gathered plenty of information on your tech from the databases contained in the PDA. What will you do when we catch up? If you get there, we'll see. <laughs> she opened her maw wide before a liquid shot from both corners of her mouth and onto the ground below the parts of the mouflon she had prepared. After a few seconds, the liquid burst into flame, heating up our dinner. That's a neat trick. I bet you wish you could do that, huh? That would be That'd pretty be cool. cool. Right? It comes in handy. How does that work anyway? Don't you ever burn your mouth? Not at all. There are actually two different components. They only catch on fire when a sufficient quantity of both is present. Interesting. Can you like at least lick the blood off of yourself? Fuck. <laughs> How long do you think her tongue is? Um, she can move her hand. The flames weakened and grew smaller until they went out, revealing steamy, appetizing pieces of meat. Help yourself. I grabbed a piece, but dropped it as soon as I felt the heat on my fingertips. Ouch, it's still hot. <laughs> Can't take a little heat, huh? It's too bad. 
Unaffected by its temperature, she took a piece into her hand, tore a chunk out of it with her teeth, and started chewing. I guess your scales are a good insulator. Evidently so. How does it taste? <laughs> Just wonderful. Stolen goods always taste best. I can already picture the old farmer reduced to tears after he discovers one of his precious mouflons is gone. Either you're a wild one, or what a shame. Yeah. I think you're a wild one. Thanks. I could teach you a thing or two. I think it should be cool enough for your sensitive little fingers now. Carefully, I grabbed one of the pieces, which by now had indeed cooled down enough to not burn me anymore, and took a bite. It was a little bland, I had to admit, but not bad for something that was alive less than an hour ago, and prepared in the wild. How do you like your mouflon a la Anna? Not bad, I have to say. Especially at that price. How often do you just go out and hunt on your own? Mm, only when necessary, or when I feel like it. I still go to fancy restaurants because I can afford it, but they don't mean much to me. For me, it's all about the experience, and one isn't necessarily better than the other. Unusual, but fun. I can see your point. This certainly isn't how I thought the evening would go, but it was pretty fun. <laughs> Anyways, I'm stuffed. Me too. There's still plenty left over. What are we going to do with it all? We can just leave it here. Hey, maybe the old farmer will help himself to it. <laughs> hey, it's me. 100% biodegradable. We should probably... Oh, what? Sorry. Why would you hurt me in this way? <laughs> We should probably leave before that senile has been wakes up from his evening nap. Yeah, let's go. Well, that was interesting. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Here you go. Your test results. Black on white. Thanks. But did you really need to spend all the, that extra time getting this done today? I just wanted to get it over with. When I had the chance. And you should start thinking about not working so late on a regular basis. It might do you some good, Anna. Why do you think so? I'm just saying, if it usually gets as bad as it did today, that's not a good sign. I just didn't pay attention to the time, but I guess that's because I barely go out anyway. I didn't even think about watching the clock. Okay, point taken. So, what are you gonna do? I'll think about it. You know, now that this date is officially over, if I don't work overtime every single day, I could fit you in for your end of the deal. Of course you didn't forget about that. <laughs> I'll let you know the details, or just call me if I forget. Sure. Alright, that went much better. It did. Yes. Way less angriness. Let's see. Status, status, check. Should it still be good? That is good. Great. Not, Ho not, not. Hopefully, fuzzy. that means that she won't die for the next time we have a scene with her. 